Hello, hello. So a lot has changed since the last apartment update. So I have a lot to show you. I mean, let's state the obvious. I'm now eight months pregnant. I feel so massive. Like just this feels so big. And I'm like, how is it gonna get big? Like I didn't I don't know. I didn't think it could get bigger than this. And I feel like I say this every week, but oh my God, it's just like how much more growing could I possibly do? Every time I do 12 through 30, it feels 50 times harder than the last because I literally have such a big weight pulling me down. Like it's just, it's getting heavy. I'm not gonna lie, I've had a great pregnancy experience. And I wish I had heard more positive experiences going into it because I would have been a lot less scared. And I know everybody's experience is different. But, I mean, first trimester was a breeze. I mean, if anything, I was just like sleepy and had mood swings. But that's all I really had first trimester. Like, no nausea, no weird cravings, no nothing. Second trimester was the best because you have the cutest little bump. It's not pulling on you at all. You're used to the pregnancy, so like there's no, I don't know, you're just like in it already and you're like, okay, like I got this. And the finish line is also pretty far away. So you're not like looking like any day now. Like, you know, it's just the second one is the best one. The third one is, I just wasn't expecting this third trimester to be so much like just walking around with this much like I feel like I'm walking around a lot slower I'm probably at like 40% speed but overall I'm just super excited to meet him and to hang with him and to have my best friend like hello it's gonna be the coolest thing ever of life I'm just trying to get through this this finish line but anyways that's not why we're here today we're here because so many things have changed in this apartment and I hope to be finishing it soon let me show you around. So the last time I showed you this kitchen, it was completely salmon. The walls were <laughs> salmon and it was a lot. And the countertops were black, black matte. Obviously there have been a lot of changes and I think it looks 50,000 times better. I mean, here's the thing, like with the renting of it all, like I'm trying, <clears throat> And, uh, uh, Jesus, oh my God, that was blowing my face. But here's the thing, since I'm renting this place, everything I do needs to be undone. This is a peel and stick backsplash, but because it's so flat, it looks like it's painted on the wall. Like this doesn't look like a backsplash to me, honey. Like, I'm sorry, this is not fooling anyone. This is quite literally a sticker. So the new plan for this kitchen backsplash is very simple just a cream clay looking super neutral peel and stick with texture backsplash this is it it's literally on amazon i ordered it yesterday it'll be here tomorrow and it'll be installed tomorrow tomorrow's a big day for installing 
So the second half of this video is going to be so lit because there's going to be lots of that process. I'm excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow, allegedly, a lot is happening. So yeah, I think with the kitchen, the, the idea at first was a lot more over the top and wacky and funky. And as we keep trying things out, I feel like everything is getting kind of reeled back in and made a little bit more tame and neutral. And it's starting to balance really well. This countertop. This is what this kitchen needed this whole time. Because now it doesn't stand out. It kind of just flows in with this paint color. And since it's a gloss, it looks more like a real countertop. I mean, again, this is a renter friendly vinyl wrap. I mean, you saw how it got installed. So it's very DIY. So what I'm learning is with these DIY renter friendly things, there's things that'll make it look cheap and things that'll kind of make it look a little bit nicer. And this being in a gloss finish, just overall is less attention grabby. That last one looked overtly cheap. This looks kind of gorge. Everything really is a mess. Like just please ignore all the boxes by the front door. Just like this whole zone is a mess. Everything is a mess. I did not clean up for you guys today. I mean, I did, but then I got lazy and I stopped myself. This mirror right here, I really prioritized this time around of having a mirror location that I could take my cute little outfit of the days and my little TikToks because I was so mad at myself in our last house because I felt like we had such a Gorgina. Am I like so chill today? Oh my God, I feel like my energy in this video is like ASMR, like just so relaxed, like almost low energy, but I'm kind of vibing with it. Like, I don't know. I'm just like, I'm on a chill wave today. Do we live for it or do we live for it? Um, but let me just show you what I mean. So I kept like coming to this mirror and taking my phone and being like, okay, what does this look like in a vertical image? Because in our last house, I feel like we had such a gorgeous house, but the mirror, like where I positioned it, every picture, every outfit of the day did not look cute. So this, I just wanted like one little zone where I could take a cute pic and have that be a moment. This lamp, got, let me flip you on. You're like watching the video like this. So yesterday this light got installed. I mean, obviously the it has to be painted around there. I love this light. I didn't know if at first I chose too funky of an option. There was a couple of different options. I was between these two and this one got ordered and then I was thinking to myself all week, I'm like, damn, I made the wrong choice because I've always wanted one, like one of those circle -y ones. I was like, did I make the wrong decision? But seeing this one IRL, it looks super cute. And yeah, I'm liking this as a little background moment. It is missing a massive piece of art right here. Like, isn't that just gonna look so cool? And also functionally, I'm excited for this little space to have friends over and like maybe sit and have this be like a cute, like informal, seating area the seating area is something that has to be done right because what i noticed is in our last house we had a dining room nobody ever sat in the dining room i think we must have had like a total of four meals in the formal dining room like it doesn't get used and then the only other space that we had was the big couch and if you have people over and you're all on the couch it's a little i don't know like a seating area does slap. You know, like there needs to be like that little like in-between zone to like really have like, I don't know, like a little conversation zone. I don't know about you, but like if I go to somebody's house and I'm on their couch, like I would rather be on my couch. Do you know what I mean? Or is that niche? I don't really have a living room update for you besides the fact that this temporary rug I mean, like, I told you that it's temporary, right? Like, there was another one that was coming, but then it, like, got totally messed up in the mail. But every time I post any type of TikTok or whatever, and people, like, see this in the background, they comment, like, it is grass. There, that carpet is giving grass. And, like, I know it's giving grass. It literally looks like turf. 
but it's temporary. I, I think I'm gonna take it out tomorrow, just so I don't have to keep looking at it. It is quite the eyesore. The rug that's going there is nice, and it's big. That's my favorite thing. I love a big, oversized rug. Like, that is such a bougie vibe for me. Just so Lua doesn't accidentally pee on it because she thinks she's at a park. My studio is still pretty confused. Like, there is a vision for her, but I'm kind of the least confident in the studio. At this point in the process, I hope that one day it comes out Gorgina and I'm obsessed with it and it's the perfect studio. At this current stage, she just, she is all over the place. This rack did just come in and I love it. I think it's super cute and different. Like it's not too unique that you're like, why is your clothing rack making such a statement? But it's different enough I like the funky little waves up top. This, I mean, this cannot live here. This has to go somewhere else. I love this chair. But to me, this chair looks like it needs to be in a corner. But now here's the issue that I'm kind of running into with this room. And I have to just figure out my life. First of all, these are both going. So consider these two gone. This was supposed to be my PR storage, but it actually has no shelving. Like it looks like it would be great for a five-year-old to hang a couple princess dresses and that's about it. But for PR, I need like actual storage, actual shelving. So she's gonna get returned. And this just never made any sense. So in this room, I have two mirrors and they're both important for different reasons. This is my full body mirror, and it's the one with all the lights around it. And when I'm filming any type of try on, any type of outfit, anything, this mirror is my go-to. So the background of this mirror needs to be gorge. And I would love for it to look well thought out and like feminine, because it is the glam room. And if I'm making a TikTok, let's say, trying on a 10 different outfits like i would want the background to feel aesthetic and that's kind of the purpose of this whole room so i just keep walking up to mirrors and like holding them and holding the camera vertically and like seeing how it looks this background it's not the vibe love i mean there is a rug coming here and the light does look cute so i have to figure out like the right background for this moment okay and then this is obviously my vanity, which is where I film my get ready with me. This is what you're looking at for 30 minutes. So I really want the background of this mirror to be also cute. I had the door painted the same color as the mural because literally before that was painted, it was just like mural, white door. It was not giving. But, and now the paint is figured out and I feel like the pink adds a lot to this room. Like it's the perfect shade. It's calming. It's like girly but not too intense. And with those two things gone, like what should go there? I don't know. I have to figure out like what's cute. I am getting different storage shelving there. I'm getting this one from Ikea. It's allegedly gonna be delivered tomorrow. You cannot trust any of these delivery lead times, okay? They play with your heart. But I ordered this shelf for right here and it has that fluted texture to it. And I'm thinking I'm gonna paint that the color of the mural too. So I could just kind of like feel like a built-in feel, not like a statement piece because a shelf isn't something that you want to like necessarily call attention to like that like it's a little chest like it's not that special so i'm just going to paint it the same color on the wall but then like what is this background you know what i mean i don't know let me know if you have a better idea the office i gotta be honest the office is also dragging out like the process is not really moving too much along oh god there's like a lot that has to get done i love the green I think it's really nice in this room. For a second there, we were thinking about painting these green also, and then just painting them back white on our way out. But I don't know, is that green overload? I think, I don't know, do you like the way that the white closet doors look? Like, do you think it's just fine in green? The office desk did arrive. This is what it looks like it's gonna be built. 
and I think that'll make this office space feel a lot homier and a lot more productive. I am not gonna lie. I mean, you know me. I am such a routine girl, and I'm such a girl that like I value and cherish having just my little space, my little zone, my little routine, my peace and quiet, and my alone time. If I have that and good food, I am a happy gal. Like that's literally my starter pack. Like that's just all I need. This moving to Miami moment has been great because I get to be around so much family. Like that is unmatched. But just this limbo phase of things taking forever to get done, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. But it's all honestly like fine. Like it's all blessings on blessings, like such exciting chapters. My baby boy's about to be here. Like so many bigger fish to fry and like not even a thing. But mentally, that's just the thing. Like I just mentally, I need my routine and I need my home put together and the added hormones sprinkled into there. The hormones, which by the way, in the third trimester are raging. I'm just trying to keep it together upstairs. Anyways, mm -hmm. let me keep showing you around. The guest bathroom is honestly pretty cute. Here's my theory with guest bathrooms. It doesn't matter what you do to them. Just do something to them. Like it literally does not matter. Because little tiny guest bathrooms are those spaces that are so small and kind of don't have to match the rest of the vibe of the house. Like it's not like it has to be cohesive. You can kind of be kooky in there. You could literally throw up like two pieces of art in the guest bathroom and it's suddenly like, oh my God, cute little masterpiece. This is peel and stick wallpaper. It's just purple, has little dots on it. I'm telling you with the guest bathroom, you could do whatever. You could put any wallpaper in the world. You could put any funky mirror. You could put any hardware. Like honestly, the kookier the better because it's such a small space. Like it literally doesn't matter. It's just the fact that you paid attention. Like isn't this wavy shaped mirror super cute and fun and also these got changed up just to add a little bit of personality like nothing crazy but cute the baby room not that many updates in here there was airplanes on the ceiling which i love i kind of miss them these shelves got put up and there's a lot to get done in this room this might be the really awkward point in the video where it's like starts spiraling on camera and we're just like all here acting like i'm not because i'm like really realizing how much is not done yet but i guess i have some time for this baby to arrive i'm on my eighth month and i said this on tiktok and reels and there was discussions about this in the comments i'm like pregnancy is 10 months and they don't tell us that it's 10 months but it's 10 months and people are responding like no pregnancy is nine months what are you talking about but then people are responding no pregnancy is literally 10 months like it's a literally 10 months i don't know why they tell us it's nine i don't know why there's like that whole saying i carried you for nine months it's literally 10. so i do have two months allegedly to like get this place in order and like get it ready for him and this is the room I'm most excited for too. There's just so much that needs to come in for it. Like I don't have the crib yet. I don't have the changing table yet. I did just get the stroller, which is really cute. And it looks very overwhelming to build it. So I'm gonna be passing that responsibility right along to Henny. I mean, we went into it knowing that this room would be the last room that we did since we had more time for it. But we were expected to finish this whole project like a month ago, we are nowhere near the finish line. Like if I'm being realistic, like I'm looking around, I'm like, let's be for real. But I'm not gonna spiral out today. Tomorrow, you're not safe. And in the master bedroom, I have a couple updates. This wavy mirror came in. I really am obsessed with this mirror. This is so cute. I just love green and brown together. And I love the squiggles. Do we think that this mirror should stay leaned against the wall or should she be hung? Also, that chair, the one with all like the layers to it, that cream one that's now in my studio used to be in here. But this is way more the vibe. I'm really liking this vibe a lot more. I'm glad that the room is painted green. I've never really had like a green colored bedroom before and I gotta say when I'm laying in here at night it does feel super comfy and cozy and I feel like I'm in a dark like cocoon like space so I have been vibing and the bathroom in here nothing too crazy has changed 
I just didn't want this wall to stay like super white and basic and boring because I actually spend a lot of time in the bathroom. Ew, that sounded like so weird. Like, not like that, but like when I do my skincare and all that, like I actually just like chill in here a lot. So I went for this wallpaper that's more of a texture really than anything. I mean, it's pretty neutral of a color. Again, this is peel and stick. It kind of reminds me of the vibe that I had in the studio in the old house. It's literally just a texture, but it adds a nice warmth to the space and it feels a lot more hotel-y. So I'm happy with that. I don't know how these shelves got installed this tall. Like I'm five foot two. My skincare, I can't grab it over here, so this is gonna get moved. And I cannot wait to load up my skincare shelves. I feel like this is gonna be one of those little things that you don't expect to make your house feel super homey and cozy and like put together. But once I have all of this, like where it belongs, I feel like it's gonna be a lot cozier. But these need to literally be dropped like 15 feet in order for me to reach them. So that's gonna happen tomorrow. And again, I'm not gonna do anything too crazy to this bathroom because I don't know, not really a point, but even just having this wallpaper, I feel way more cozy and it feels way more hotel-y. That's kind of all the updates that I have for you today. Tomorrow's a big day. Okay, I have a bunch of updates. I'm literally dressed like Adam Sandler right now. It is kind of a vibe, like in its own, right? There is updates. So this is here when you walk in now. Honestly, this hallway is giving me French vibes. I don't know if that's in my head, but it's giving me France. Okay, I love these gold frames with the artwork in them. They look really, really pretty against this pale blue color. I'm obsessed with this color of blue. It just, it looks fancy. The art is in here and the sconces are in. And now this zone feels nice and complete. These also got moved around. I think it still looks good. Like when I stand here, like I think it still has like a full moment vibe to it. Do we like? Yeah, actually, do we like or do we like how it was better before? I can't even tell for myself. The kitchen looks way better without that blue rug in it. Like, doesn't this look so much more cute? I feel like the last time I would walk into the kitchen, the blue rug just caught my attention immediately. And with it being gone, everything just kind of flows nicer. There is still a neutral rug that'll be put in this space, but even without the blue honking at you, it looks 50 times better. The wallpaper is in. The checkered backsplash goes all the way. Now, do we like it? Because I think I could still do like a neutral white tile, but I'm kind of not mad at the checkers anymore now seeing it complete, but I'm not like 100%, 100% sold on it. But in general, the vibe of this kitchen is so nice. Like it's like a peaceful vibe and it's an enjoyable space to be in. For now, the baby room still is giving storage area, but things are progressing. I mean, we have this cute little hook in here. This is really adorable. The airplanes got removed from the ceiling. I don't know if I showed you that last time or not, but I think there's still gonna be little baby mini airplanes here, just not as large of ones. These shelves got put up and it's been really fun filling the shelves up with little baby books. I'm so excited to read him books. And these used to be little suns and little designs around the lights and now they're just these little blobs. I kind of miss the suns though. Like the blobs are cute, but the suns were kind of giving. I don't know, what do you think? And some little textured art came in. These are so cute. They give a very happy vibe. The crib will be here. Hi, Momo, you look so cute. She used to be so scared of the giraffe. I think she's gotten used to it now. Hi, Momo. And look, the stroller came in. I'm excited to build this. Things are getting so real. Like, you know, once the strollers start coming in, like it really is any day now. Thanks for hanging out. Let me know if you want the next video to be a vlog style video, like vlog Miami showing you around or if you want another apartment update style video. Like I'm trying to figure out what the tea is. Like, do we want regular day in my life type of vibes or do we like these apartment updates? I'll talk to you in the comments. Bye. <laughs>